Mr. Royal Rumble. What's up, you guys? This is Marcus Beck, and I want to give my take on Road to Glory and my career mode and give you, give you my thoughts on it. But I'd just like to say, man, that before this video starts, I want to let you know I've done everything. I beat the noobs. I look for the worst and best of what you can see on Community Creations. I even seen some of the most funniest highlight reels I ever gotten in like all my years and had great moments with my friends. So I'm going to show you this one clip and we're going to start the video. My ear, my ear, my ear, my ear. Now, in Road to Glory, it's the same thing as the main game and you playing online with your friends. It's exactly like this clip that I'm about to show you and how I'm going to feel about it. So, <sighs> get me out of this corner. Jeez, man, come on. Going off the ring for it, bro. I'm going to toss you over here. What the? This shit started. Alright. You're gonna have to face the modern day John of our HB. Let's go. Wait, what? What's going on, yo? Why is it loading? Are you sick? Let me press that. I can't do nothing. It glitched! On a startup? Are you kidding? Yo, are you kidding me right now, bro? I, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying so hard with this game to to just like push push shit like this aside. Well, look at this. Come on now. You want microtransactions in your game next year? Come on, bro. Are you serious? You want people to pay real money for this? Oh my gosh, bro. 2K! Trash, bruh. Uh, you know, just like Matt Hardy, that was my breaking point. <laughs> that was my breaking point right there. And that's what made me want to do this video. Want to really, really do this video right now. Is because of that moment. I, I'm, I'm tired. I'm literally tired of facing against people, which I'll get to in a second. Uh, facing people and uh, you know when I punch them it phases through and stuff like that happens uh, certain moves glitching they'll get a hit from me here and there but in Rotogory I've had my moments had really cool moments where I just beat them up over and over and over again you know um, having my character Hakeem go through the ranks like he's nothing but you see these three moves I stopped playing my career. I'm still not done with my career. I'm still in the story. But, yeah, uh, I, I said to myself, I have not gotten a Hall of Fame rank since WWE 12. How about this year I do it for Road to Glory, and if I don't get these three moves before, then I'm not buying 2K19. And I'm a living legend now. And I'm like, I'm like a living legend 30 right now. And I still only have one of these moves. So yeah, uh, I think I'm not going to get 19. <laughs> come on, bro. Oh my gosh. As soon as I was about to get up, come on now. He has the Gargano super kick. Only has that as a finisher. And I didn't even want to use it on him this match. Are you kidding me? How was that too fast? How? Oh my gosh, yo. And he has as a finisher too. Oh my gosh, bro! <laughs> Beautiful game. That's why I hate giving matches. Look at this. Trash. It's so easy. People can just do that and just get the W. Like, come on now. Like 2K. Like, oh my gosh, man. Oh man. <laughs> I'm facing my uh, security guard. About to face my security guard in the NXT event. 
Oh my gosh. Oh man. He's a rookie 24. Uh, he ain't doing too bad. Lex Auger. Something like that. <sighs> Shoot. Man, how how is he how is he gonna beat me? I, I wanna see I wanna know this. I'm about to I'm about to face my security guard. Let's go. Yeah, didn't see that coming. Did ya? Come on, give me your best shot. Oh my gosh, is he even here? Okay, he's here. Uh, he's gonna roll out, is he? Nah. He ain't gonna roll out. Come on now. Uh. Uh, you see that combination? Classic right there, baby. The classic combination. Look at that. Spam your reversals. Come on, bro. You gotta do better than that. Come on, man. You missed. Get the boot. Oh, you got a ring of safe. Where you going? Who you think you're running off to? Let's go. Let's get this. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> he my, se my security guard dipped. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Let's do the match. Got my moves ready. Let's do it. Now, Rhodes of Glory has one of the most colorful yet generic cats full of people that players just usually make. To the people that just want to be like Finn Bauer and you already know, face paint and stuff. To the people who's playing generic, you know, and even people who just play the game way too much, way more than me. But other than that, you know, you, you got your little fans of Rick and Morty now again. They always wear the shirts, bland shirts. And people who do have generic superstars but decide to rip off other real superstars' names or just plain fans of Dank House, believe me, I ran into a lot of them. And some noobs. Gonna face your noobs now and again. And even some people who just can't get over it. Smacking over his Raw 2009. And as we are 2010, you know, you see these goth people now and again, and even face your local YouTubers now and again if you get the chance. You know, and Road to Glory is really just like facing online, period. You got those, most of the time, since reversals are so limited, you got those people that waste all their reversals, that either go out the ring or stand on the ramp, get themselves counted out, or try to DQ themselves, or just quit the match when they lose every reversal. Okay, I'll come to you then. Lame. Oh. 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 Get on your knees. Get on your fucking knees. <laughs> boo. 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 Get the fuck down. Get in that corner. Yup. Come on. Now I can do this to the real Chris Danger. I can do this to the real Chris Danger. Ain't no problem. Hey, look at the combination. <laughs> oh my god. That's amazing. I always find these. Interest, yes, another dub for me and an L for you. Oh my gosh, there is no challenge at all with this mode. Whew, another match won by the Beastmaster. Oh man, that was a sick combination right there. Yes! Yo, he got the rolling savat kick as a freaking finisher, bro. What? Then you also face your local legends. Also, watch this. Look how he grabs me. It's insane. Check out these clips of me beating up a noob. Yeah, you stupid bitch. That's what you get. Going on YouTube. <laughs> Going on YouTube. You're going on YouTube. You're not a legend. You're trash. Jobber. You're trash. Thought he was going to be. Thought he was going to. You think he's a legend because he spams and plays this game 24 7? Hell no. A prospect just be a rookie. 
Come on now. Take the L, bro. Level Levels don't matter. I still collect the dub. Garbage ass dudes, man. They better quit this game. First ready for that one collapse against Lesnar. <laughs> it's over. One collapse to Lesnar at Survivor Series. Done. You're not a legend! You're garbage! Backstage brawl, tables, matches, and TLCs, mostly TLCs and ladder matches. You can just go for the ladder and just try to grab the briefcase. All they gotta do is pull it a few more times, and sometimes they, they are better at you doing that mini game. So, it's a real rough chance that you'll definitely lose that match. Anybody can win a ladder match in TLC. Just like in a backstage brawl, a tables match is real easy to KO your opponent. And just win the match. It's very quick and easy. Just look. Look how long it took me. It's going, it's going to be five minutes or less you're going to be in these matches. But at the end of the day, it's going to help you, you know, do quicker matches. And it's going to be over and done within about a few minutes. Two at most. But yeah, it's just going to help a lot. It will help a lot, but in my opinion, dude, those are the worst match types you can get on Vote to Glory. But... Of course, you're going to go through, remember earlier I talked about how they're easy people to beat. It's just that this game keeps helping them or it'll glitch my moves or phase out. Come on now. Well, check this out. <clears throat> Come on now. How the fuck that, how the fuck that lame ass kick didn't fucking do anything to him? Gosh, Scott's, gosh, Scott's, gosh, Scott's whooping my ass. What? I just reversed. They just glitched my bro. Now, since Road to Glory is a big part of 2K18, 2K not only decided to limited the VC amount that you get. How we go from getting over 20, 10, I think nearly 20,000 VC to to, to, to 1,000 VC this year. 2K know exactly what they were doing. Just like they knew exactly what they were doing for taking down. Verity, they toned it down to at least 120, even though every Verity you did that revolves around a top rope move, or even a middle rope move, or even a diving one, you always got 200, and it was always a nice boost in which you got. Even for OMGs, you always got that extra 200 there. Well, 2K decided to take that out and give you a 120. Vote to Glory is indeed a way to teach kids and even you how to gamble. That is a gamble simulator. You're, you're playing the game and the, and the only way you can play is by doing matches. Whether you win or lose, it matters of how much experience and how long you play the game. And then you get VC for it no matter how, how much you did in the match, whether you won or loss it depends on how many stars and what you did throughout the progress of that match to anyone who's watching this if you have kids do not let your son do not let your daughter any of your children if you care about them that much do not let them buy 2k19 if you see that there's a box and it has 499 or anything else like that it's don't buy it for them because 2K, what they did with the Road to Glory mode was teach your children and teach us how to gamble. That's what it is. These loot boxes are is a way to gamble and to mess with your child's mind for them to have money in their pockets. That's what it is at the end of the day. And that's what 2K is trying to do. And I feel as though none of these, we're going to end up like, I don't want us to end up like the NBA 2K community. There are actually 
the majority of their the majority of their players, people who play the game, have to spend real life money, or they have to download apps in order to get VC, and they rarely get anything. They'll get good games, as you saw before. 2K is restraining you. You can see the verity that I got. How I went from 200 um, verity by just jumping off the top rope to getting 120 off the second update. 2K is doing this on purpose and they're doing this just to gain money out of you. And I'm telling you, it's the most disgusting thing I've seen ever. It's getting worse and worse throughout the years. And to be honest with you, man, I'm not going to play it. I'm going to have fun. You're going to see me do other videos than just do my career the whole time. And if I am, I'm going to focus on KWX. I really want to say that this is probably going to be my last time playing a WWE game. Because its practices is very disgusting. And it's, it's horrible. As a business practice, it's, it's horrible. Well, how can you have fun if you're dealing with glitches all the time? You're dealing with matches that's going to screw you over. People that are desperate to win the cheat. That's not a good mode. Neither is my career. My career is a bland mess. After you go through the story mode, like seriously, in my career, they are restraining you from capturing that championship. They give you garbage cutscenes that have you lose the money in the bank briefcase or try to sidetrack you by making you after a, a minor title. Because 2K knows, as soon as you grab that world title, they think, hmm, the player is not gonna like it. Because they know the story's not interesting. And mo and half of, half of the damn goals, not goals, but the special fan favorite or corporate man options are trash. You get more better stuff for the corporate man than fan favorite. Who wants to see The Rock just say, The Rock has come back to this such and such city that you're on? You know, like, who wants to see that? That's bland. It's not him voice acting. It's none of, none of the above. So that's why I like to say, man, if you have caught up to this video, thank you so much for listening on my opinion. At the end of the day, Road to Glory is an introduction to the future of which 2K wants to do with us. They want us to spend our money and, and basically have us spend our money on stuff that's already in the game by default in the uh, exhibition mode and universe mode. I'm just going to say this. If you think about playing Road to Glory, I suggest don't. And don't play my career because it's, it's, a, it's, you're, it's a restraint mode. It literally is. Started away from the bottom, all that other stuff. This is why games like WWF, WWF No Mercy and Here Comes the Pain is the best. Because at the end of the day, at least you have a fun time. At least the moves that you perform is impactful. You think moves like the pedigree is impactful than the ones on Here Comes the Pain? No, it's not. I'm just saying, um, this is from my perspective. Thank you so much. I really thank you for watching this video. Have a great day, and be aware, man. Be aware of what these games are trying to do to your children and what they're trying to do to you, the player. Stand up and say, no, I'm not going to buy it, no matter how a, a beloved fan you are. Stand up. Do what people did to EA when it came down to Star Wars Battlefront 2. Stand up, people. Do not let these greedy developers get away. They want to give you half-ass products and then make mistakes, and then they want to charge you more money for their mistakes. Don't let that happen. Have a blessed day. I'm Marcus Baker, and I'm out.